Hello everyone. Now this video will teach you how to use the G2 USB to SATA adapter for the Western Digital USB hard drives. Now we can see this is the SATA connector. Okay. Now we can see here uh, there are two screws to fix this SATA connector to the USB hard drives. Okay, let's have one USB Western Digital SMR hard drive as one example. So the PCB number is 83067 for this USB drive. Now let's check how to install the SATA connector to the USB hard drive. So we convert this USB interface to the SATA interface easily. You know, in many SMR Western Digital hard drives, there is encryption key stored on this MCU. Okay, this is a main chip main controller chip it contains the encryption key after users swap the pcb or convert the usb interface to SATA, users cannot see data directly the data is encrypted by SATA interface but if users Install SATA connectors as original. Okay, this is original PCB. Install this adapter to the original USB PCB. Then users can bypass the data encryption by the SATA ports because the MCU, the main chip is here it's not changed if users just simply swap with one dollar pcb but the main chip is not here the original main chip of the original pcb is very very important okay now let's see how to install this sat connector to this usb drive it's very, very easy. Here are two screws, okay? Two screws, so we need to put like this one. Then, we can simply use this screw to fix, okay, to fix. Okay, now we have fixed this SATA connector to the USB PCB. So it's very easy, right? Now we can connect this USB hard drive by SATA interface to the common data recovery hardware. For example, uh, I'm using the DFL SRP. Okay, this is the most popular data recovery hardware. Now we need to connect to this one. Okay, connect the USB hard drive by SATA interface to the. Uh, this is a power cable. Okay, and this is the data cable, the hard drive data cable. Connect this one. Okay, now we can see we have connect this one, connect this drive to the DFSRP data recovery hardware. Then we can go to the computer, open the DFWD uh, firmware repair software and power on 
okay then we can power on the soft power on the pension drive now we can see the drive gets ready then we can start the firmware repair after we power on this pension drive we can see the drive gets ready the status register the DRD and DSC are green. This means the drive is ready. Now let's check the status of the drive. We can see the LED lights are on here. So it means this drive have been powered on successfully and the drive is ready for users to repair the firmware corruption. Now this is all to introduce the G2 USB to SATA adapter. Uh, there's one point for all users to learn. This adapter works not only with the DFL uh, SRP data recovery hardware. This G2 adapter works with other similar data recovery hardware too so users can buy this adapter to work on these western digital smr hard drives of different pcb numbers with any other data recovery or firmware repair hardware thank you for watching the video